Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at the Rolex Yachtmaster 2, reference 116681 in stainless steel and 18 karat rose gold. You can see this Yachtmaster 2 on our website. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our channel and click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this video for our complete photographs, listings of accessories, and of course, pricing information for this watch. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see this is the 44 millimeter 2007 to present Yachtmaster case. What sets this one apart is that it's the 2011 to present combination of Rolosaur, or I should say Everose, and stainless steel from Rolex. Now it is Rose roller sword to be completely accurate, the combination of gold and stainless steel, but it is ever rose rose gold. Now you can see that the watch is 44 millimeters across the broad of the case, but what sets this one apart is that it is more compact than the 44 millimeter Rolex deep sea sea dweller. How much more compact? Well, it's actually a quite tidy 50 millimeters from lug to lug. Now the watch does have reasonable girth, 14 millimeters with a sloped bezel. It's actually quite easy to fit this one under a dress cuff or a tight sleeve. And it does have a little bit of a formality to it thanks to the two-tone treatment. Now when you include the outermost horn, the outcropping of the rigid hollow end link, the lug to lug span of this watch does swell a little bit and it actually expands out to 56.5 millimeters. Now the watch is hefty on the wrist, as are all contemporary Rolex watches, because all of the links are solid, not just the end links, but also the center links. And the clasp itself is a beautifully milled out piece, fully finished throughout. It does have the two-tone stripes straight through the clasp, and it is a remarkably beautiful piece. It closes like a bank vault, very secure. It also opens with the same kind of satisfying snick and a snap. Now it does include Rolex's five millimeter easy link quick adjust and you can see it right here, essentially giving you the ability to find five millimeters of tool free adjustment so you can take it out or take it in depending on whether your wrist is expanding or contracting in the course of vigorous or sedentary activity as well as changes in weather. But what really sets the Yachtmaster 2 apart from everything else in the Rolex lineup is the look and the function of it. Quite honestly, it's a watch apart from the rest of the Rolexes. It's nothing like the only other chronograph in the line, the Rolex Daytona, and at the same time, it only bears the most passing thematic resemblance to the original Yachtmaster itself. This one, of course, features the warm combination of rose gold and stainless steel, and it actually works a little bit better than the overpowering 116688 full yellow gold. The combination of the warmth of the rose gold, beautifully finished to a high polish, as well as its matte treatment within the blue Cerachrom bezel, makes this an endearing watch, and it is still the choice within the Rolex lineup if you want a playful and upbeat combination of summer colors on your sports watch. Of course, 100 meter water resistant. This one is a everyday aquatic watch. You can go swimming with it. It's not just for use on the deck of a yacht, but it is marvelous for that application. The beautiful composition of colors really does set this one up as a fun-loving watch for those who want to get outdoors, want to be seen, but don't necessarily want the visual impact of that all yellow gold reference. Of course, I mentioned the watch is defined by its style, but also its substance, and its function really is the centerpiece of this programmable 10-minute countdown flyback regatta timer. Now, it starts with the ring command bezel. This one is not bi-directional or unidirectional in the conventional sense. Rather, it has a certain amount of ratchet built into it. Once it reaches the end of its stop, if the crown is out, you depress the pusher at four o'clock. Now you have the ability to control the programmable countdown timer. Now it is a Rolex caliber 4161, 48 joules, 360 parts, three day power reserve. It is incredibly complicated. It is the most complex chronograph Rolex has ever offered, entirely in-house too. Now you can set the interval anywhere between one and 10 minutes, which actually makes it one of the most useful chronographs on the market because the countdown from 10 is so legible with broad swaths between each numeral. Most of the time you're using a chronograph, you're actually going to be using it to time fairly short intervals when cooking, between meetings, the kids time out, and this countdown timer really gives you that functionality. So once you've chosen a time you like, say, eight minutes, then you simply roll the ring command bezel back and you can see the pusher at four o'clock pops right back out. 
Now we're going to return the crown to its screwed down position. We're ready for water play. And now you have a vertical clutch column wheel chronograph. All the latest technology, very smooth to start, very smooth to stop, thanks to that vertical clutch engagement. There's a crisp report from the pushers thanks to the column wheel function selector. But what this has that the Daytona simply doesn't, among its many attributes, is flyback capability. Now it'll fly back or forward to the nearest minute and of course the original function or the intended function is counting down to the start time of a sailboat race, a regatta, but you can use it for any application including simply pleasing the crowd. It's a very engaging chronograph, it's action-packed, it's a little bit more show-oriented, a little bit more exhibitionist than the conventional Cosmograph Daytona in look and function. It's a fantastic watch that really pushed the limits of Rolex's technical capability and this remarkably warm variant, this is Rose Rolasaur with Everose Rolex Platinum, Copper, and Gold, Rose Gold. Now it's that higher percentage of Platinum that makes Rolex's Everose. It doesn't have the tendency to fade through exposure to UV and chlorine as conventional Rose Golds do. And of course this is Rolex's 904L stainless steel. So you're getting both a higher grade of steel and a higher grade of gold, both produced in Rolex's own foundry. From the inside out, this watch is all Rolex and it's ready for summer 2016. You can see this Rolex Yacht Master 2, 116681 on our website.